Hello. Today we're going to talk about L'Occitane's new winter fragrance from La Collection de Grasse, uh, Fleur de Or, and Acacia. Here we go. It's with this lovely yellow golden box. There. Now, Fleur de Or and Acacia is part of the the line that has been created by L'Occitane's new in-house perfumer, uh, Karine Dubreuil. So it, it's a it's a little slightly more expensive, slightly more higher end than the houses, the company's other skincare products, since this is more perfume oriented. Um, the story behind Le Collection de Grasse is that L'Occitane tries to L'Occitane tries to create um, very simple fragrances based on two key notes and uh, two, two key notes, one that is sourced from Provence and one that comes from some other distant land or some other place other than Provence. Um, in this fragrance, uh, it, the Fleur d'Or is the mimosa that comes from Provence and the acacia is supposed to come from the Mediterranean basin. Um, and before we go on with that, I think I'm going to try and talk a little bit about those two flowers themselves because mimosa and acacia are often used interchangeably in perfumes. Um, there are different flowers, they come from different plants. Um, mimosa and acacia do come from the same family of plants, from the acacia family. Uh, just that mimosa is found more in um, Europe, in places like uh, France, um, other, other, I believe in other parts of the Mediterranean as well. Uh, acacia is, is known as cassie or uh, acacia uh, farnesiana um, and it is found, it is native to parts of the Mediterranean, parts of uh, Africa, and also parts of Asia. It thrives in hot, dry climates, actually. Uh, the flowers, they look fairly similar. The mimosa, it, they're those characteristic yellow mini pom-poms that, um, that you see. They're very, uh, they're very heaty. If you bring in a bouquet of mimosa into your house, you will immediately, your house in a few minutes will be uh, enveloped in the scent of honeyed almonds. Um, it's, quite, it's quite creamy, it's quite golden. It's, it's a lovely powdery scent. Um, when you see it on the trees, um, it, it, you get a slightly more diluted scent, but also um, a greenness to it as well. Now, um, with mimosa and perfume, usually the first note that hits you is the smell of green cucumber peels. It's quite refreshing. And then you get the, the heavier scent. When I say heavy, the heaviness doesn't last. It's, it's just a, a rich scent. Um, acacia, on the other hand, is a little bit more, it's, it's not as, heady, uh, as heady, it's um, slightly more green. It's a very sweet fragrance as well, it's, but it's a nice green, uh, a nice sweet fragrance. It's not cloying at all. It's a fresh, very naturally floral scent. Um, I grew up with the scent of acacia and it is close to my heart because of that. I, I really, really love acacia. Anything with acacia in it, I will, I will love. Now, in this scent, in Fleur d'Or and Acacia, it's, I believe it's called Fleur d'Or and not Mimosa for a reason because even though when you spray it on you do get that initial um, burst of cucumbers, it's the acacia, the flower, the acacia flower that is the star player in this scent. Um, if you want something that's very mimosa, very uh, honeyed and, and almondy, um, you should try another perfume like Lac de Saint Parfumero's uh, Mimosa pour moi, which is exactly, it's, it's a true mimosa. Um, but this is still a lovely, lovely scent and it's, you know, it's not as expensive as Lac de Saint Parfumero. Um, but it's not, it's not really, um, a true mimosa. It's more of a, a true acacia. Um, 
the scent is not very it's not very uh, strong. The initial burst is is quite um, is quite pronounced, but it it dies down pretty quickly. Uh, you know, give it maybe two or three hours. Um, the the base will linger for a little while. The base is not that exciting. It's more of a a clean musk, but the opening I, I really enjoy. It's very feminine. It's very light. It's very simple. It's not a perfume manifesto, but it's a it's a very pretty a pretty light thing. Um, no, I was confused as to why this was introduced in the winter. We walked into the store and I smelled it. And I said, "This is wonderful. I would I would want this as my spring and summer fragrance. Why is it introduced in the winter?" And the reason is, mimosas are are usually they first start to bloom in Provence in the middle of winter. They're they're the uh, the tulips and the crocuses of the of the region. They're the harbingers of spring to come. And uh, I can you know that's that's nice to know. Um, but the more I wear this, the more I realize that the scent it has a sparkly golden veil about it, and sparkly gold. Feels very festive to me, and in the in the dark winter days, I wouldn't mind a bit of glitter of gold of gold fairy dust. It's it's a wonderful it's a wonderful scent to have, I think. Uh, and yes, I will wear this in the spring and summer as well, but I will also appreciate it this winter. So that's Fleur d'Or and Acacia by L'Occitane, and this is the Petrichor. Until next time.